In this video, we'll discuss anisocoria. So what's anisocoria? Anisocoria means unequal pupil. That is, the two pupil are of different size. One pupil is small and the other pupil is large. So what are the causes of anisocoria? It may be physiological or pathological. Physiological anisocoria is common and is present in number of people. How to differentiate which pupil is abnormal? A smaller pupil or the larger pupil? A larger pupil in bright light is abnormal and a smaller pupil in dim light is abnormal and the physiologic anisocoria pupils have similar response in both dim light and bright light that is their diameter ratio remains same in bright light and dim light large pupil may be accompanied with abnormal eye features and number two without abnormal eye features a large pupil in bright light suggests third nerve palsy or oculomotor palsy so what are the features of oculomotor palsy dilated pupil in bright light ptosis diplopia and abnormal eye movement so what's the position of the eyeball in third nerve palsy it's turned down and out in third nerve palsy why because oculomotor nerve supplies the extraocular muscle except for superior oblique which is supplied by the and the lateral rectus which is supplied by the abducens nerve it also supplies levator palpebri superioris and the constrictor pupillary muscle sudden developing large pupil is a neurological emergency and may be due to head trauma intracerebral or subarachnoid hemorrhage and enlarging tumor or an aneurysm large pupil with head trauma will have papilledema and other signs of central nervous system involvement oculomotor nerve damage Damage may occur intracranially or intraorbitally. Damage to ciliary ganglion in the orbit causes acute pupillary dilatation and that may occur from infection like herpes zoster and influenza, may occur from trauma and may also occur from ischemia, from diabetes and in temporal arteritis. Next is large pupil without abnormality of eye motion. So this may be due to uveitis, glaucoma, AIDS pupil or drug installation. Pilocarpine constrict the pupil of the third nerve palsy but not the pupil is dilated from anticholinergic so what's a tonic pupil denervation of the iris sphincter leads to sluggish dilatation of the pupil ad's pupil is a tonic pupil with decreased reflexes in the lower limb how do you diagnose ad's pupil the diagnosis of ad's pupil is confirmed by installation of 0.12 percent pilocarpine that constrict the ad's pupil and why does it constrict the ad's pupil it constrict because of the denervation hypersensitivity because at this concentration of 0.125% pilocarpine it does not constrict a normal pupil a normal pupil will constrict on 1% pilocarpine installation whereas the drug installed pupil will not constrict on pilocarpine then it's due to topical application of anticholinergic application next is a smaller pupil a smaller pupil may be with ptosis and anhydrosis and it may be without ptosis and anhydrosis so a smaller pupil with ptosis and anhydrosis is due to horner syndrome horner syndrome may also be caused by a lung apical lung tumor that presses on the sympathetic fiber that dilates the pupillary dilator it occurs in pancreas tumor of the lung any small pupil without ptosis and anhydrosis may occur number one in red eye there will be features of pain and other features in uveitis and the smaller people in dim light that does not dilate to application of the cocaine is due to horner syndrome and if both pupils dilate symmetrically to cocaine application then it's due to physiologic anisocoria